To alle, my name is Hilke bos -Brouwers. I am from the Netherlands. I work at Wageningen University in Research and I am since 2010 a senior scientist on sustainable supply chains. I also have been the scientific coordinator to two very large European projects on food loss and waste and today I am here in Zaragoza uh, on the invite by Kiam uh, to be a lecturer in the uh, advanced course on food loss and waste measurement but also how it relates to food system sustainability. I was very honoured. Uh, I always say I know uh, very little about a lot but during the course I was focusing on the role of policy and policy instruments. During those lectures I really try to explain what the role of policy and policy instruments is in the prevention and reduction of food loss and waste. Because it's such a big problem for so many parts of both industry, uh, NGOs and society, the role of government is equally great as well. So there are many targets and policies that are being uh, that are there on a national level, but also a European level, international level, which really show ambition to have food loss and waste across the globe and uh, coming down to uh, even individual organizational levels. So trying to explain the role of policy, it does include, of course, understanding the causes, the types of interventions that can be made and the actions that need to be implemented by the industry. The role of government predominantly focuses on creating the right context, environment, possibilities and support for those actors that are actually doing the intervention project and implementing all the measures that are necessary to reduce the food loss and waste. So in order to fulfill those supportive roles, we need to look at a whole scala of potential available policy instruments and they range from very voluntary, informational, educational instruments to the very strong control and command type of regulatory measures where things are enforced by law and everybody is obliged and otherwise you are punished uh, via fines or otherwise uh, limitations on how you want to do businesses. So during the course I explained all those different types of instruments and how they look like and how they can be utilized in trying to prevent and reduce food waste. On the other hand we do need to realize that a lot of the policy instruments are guided by policies that are not necessarily only about food loss and waste because uh, how government looks at food and food waste is very much integrated with considerations about health and safety, uh, but also with how agricultural uh, uh, is managed, <laughs> agricultural policies, but also waste policies, information. Uh, there are many policy domains that are influencing uh, the food waste arena, so to say. So that does, uh, that means that you need to understand all these different domains and how they influence the food waste interventions to be able to make the correct decisions there. So when we are talking about the role of policy in addressing food loss and waste, a very important factor in anything you want to do against food waste is to be aware of it. That understanding that you as a person or as an organization are actually part of the problem. Policy instruments can help in information or awareness campaigns or other types of educational uh, approaches uh, to inform consumers that they have food waste at home even if they think that they don't. Uh, only small portions or small uh, amounts of food that you discard every day uh, together combined when you aggregate those uh, amounts are actually a lot. So governments can really help address uh, the importance, the increase of awareness on consumer level as well as on business level uh, by really reporting back how much is being wasted if you take it up until the whole population or the whole segment of business and actors. They can really help with transparency and uh, awareness raising in that aspect and that is a very important thing because if it gets measured, if it gets communicated, 
then it's much easier to identify hotspots of problems, identify which causes it, and then really uh, develop the right instruments to tackle it as well.